السلام علیکم سعیدی وعلیکم السلام ورحمۃ اللہ سعیدی ڈز اینی تھنگ ایگزسٹ آؤٹ سائیڈ اللہ عز و جل آؤٹ سائیڈ اللہ وٹ از امین اللہ عز و جل میڈ اوشن اف کریئیشن اینڈ وی آر ود ان دیٹ ناٹ ٹو ایور پونڈر اللہ ٹیک یو آؤٹ اف بیلیف اونلی تھنک اف کریئیشن Even you don't know that, why would you get involved with pondering about Allah That Prophet warned for us, contemplate creation. And the best of creation is the Muhammadan reality. So alhamdulillah. As salaamu alaykum Sayyidi Walaykum as salaam wa Will those who gaze upon the holy face in the hereafter be completely annihilated by the majesty? Inshallah. <laughs> yeah. the, the holy face is continuously dressing them. So we've described before in the timeless reality inshaAllah, get the copy of the timeless reality and describes that the meditation is one level of meditating, connecting, connecting until Allah give a permission that they begin to connect with the face. And the face of their shaykh begins to dress them because through the face is the satellite. Their face is a dress from the shaykh's face, from the shaykh's face, from the shaykh's face all the way to the highest of only Allah whom receiving from Prophet Even if you have a vision of Prophet it's a Muhammadan dress from the shaykhs. Because each of the shaykhs have a shaykh and a form that looks like Muhammadun Rasulullah and they're Muhammadiyoon. And the Qawf and the highest of these awliya take directly from the reality of Prophet direct image. Everyone else is a satellite image of the Muhammadan dress down towards creation. And that's because of the voltage for us to understand. That when somebody comes and think, oh I'm having uh, visions of Prophet and they think they're tapping into 10 million watts and they haven't exploded yet, they must be super powerful. No, that those are reflections coming down to them to bring them towards guidance and those reflections are the reflections from their Muhammadan shaykhs that are in the Muhammadiyoon image that's sending them a nazar to bring them up. But as they become stronger and stronger in their spirituality in which the energy overwhelms their body, they become overheated and they have many effects on their physicality because of the amount of that energy. When they progress into that energy then the higher level Muhammadan face is then dressing them, dressing them, dressing them. So everything is being transferred from that which doesn't perish which is the wajq al kareem is the is the face and the essences that are dressing from the face there are seven faces on this earth that represent the seven continents and they take and they give onto this earth its power and its dressing for only Allah to take from that inshaAllah so there's a whole power structure in which Allah has has put into place inshaAllah our life is to connect connect with the shaykh Asked to reach to that light, to that fires, the energy and their stages. So not imagination, not somebody imagining through their you know, mind because we have also many people whom are watching that are not well and they imagine in their mind that they're connecting but that's not it. The mind is, is, a, is a dangerous place to use. Think that there's a commercial about the mind is a dangerous thing to, to lose, yeah. So the mind is, is definitely, this is not a part of the mind, this is a part of the heart. That when you make that connection and the visualization is through the soul and that that face is dressing and they feel the energy of the dress, they feel the sweating, they feel the heat. So these are established energies upon the soul, the character is very soft. The character is, has a lot of fear because of the Divinely Presence and uh, the energy that coming upon it. So there are many signs for people whom have been dressed by these realities inshaAllah. And the rest is just people being confused in their mind.
not easy to achieve and a great struggle has to occur. So, uh, as salamu alaykum shaykh. Wa alaykum as salam wa uh, Regarding your talk related to the kalam, if we write salawats, would it be, would I be getting closer to Rasulullah Sure. Reason? Every salawat, every writing of salawat, it dresses the, the kitab, the writing of the haqqaiqs. So everything, everything by this qalam is showing that we want to inherit from that reality. That the, the pen of Allah is Sayyidina Muhammad and that we want to inherit to be a qalam for Sayyidina Muhammad that we took the realities, we wrote them, they burned upon our reality. And as a result Prophet began then to activate the process that I make you to be a qalam for my reality in which you go out and begin to teach that reality. But those whom don't write it and want to teach it is very dangerous because they keep mixing up these different things, inject their own understanding and then it goes in the different field, in different uh, reality because it wasn't burned onto their kitab. So when they took a life of writing the haqqaiqs from these awliya, it burned onto their book and then became expanded their kitab. And then they teach from alam al-Qur'an khalaq al-insan that their soul reached to that reality in which Allah ayat al-Kareem described to them, I taught you the Qur'an, not Allah but you were taught the Qur'an and then we created your form. So now you reach to this level in which the CD or the digital reality of your soul will begin to convey its realities back out inshaAllah that have already been burned on to the soul. As salaamu alaykum Ya Sayyidi Walaykum as salaam wa Allah. Is it normal to get headaches and dizziness when reciting the zikr of the veils, especially the one for Ramadan? Yeah, it may be heavy for somebody and, and maybe also cleansing. There may be energies around that are, are being cleansed by that zikr, by the soul and uh, so many, many things can happen. If it becomes something uncomfortable then stop. But anytime you activate an energy, one is that it cleanses yourself but two also may be cleansing other things in the home that you're aware or not aware of and those negative charges are trying to come to you so that you can clean them, inshaAllah. As salaamu alaykum Sayyidi Walaykum as salaam Is it n normal to get spiritual attacks after sharing the shaykh's teachings on social media platform? <laughs> yeah, there, there's nothing normal and abnormal in this way. So I, I would imagine that you, you, you share something and, and, and maybe all the negative energy if you're sharing to like a Wahhabi platform <laughs> <laughs> and this light comes out, all these uh, negative energies in these people they start to go after. So there, there, there can be some sort of uh, issues, that's why you, you Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem, you have your taweez, you make your wudu and then you share and you don't want to probably share into something too negative because they begin to say very, very negative things. But every positive energy has an effect on, on people. So there was the taweez, it goes on automatic advertising. So there's ads for the taweez that get these taweez and or, or get these uh, Islamic items and <laughs> these people are like cursing, 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 going crazy, why is like this, why like this, oh well, why you have to be a click on it, pass it by. But their devils are so burned by it they actually have to click on it, they have to actually make a comment against it and they're saying why, why, oh internet is filled with 10,000 items that no one ever looks at, no cares for. But this one thing you want to know why is here, why is it on the internet? 
So it means that you see how much power the ta'weez has and how much it aggravates the devils with inside people. So when anyone looks and sees one of our ta'weez ads on Facebook or on the internet and in the comments they're astonished like, oh that's all these horrible comments. I said, that's it, do you see how powerful this ta'weez is? <laughs> Right? And if you put a, a picture of an elephant with five hands, there's 10,000 comments, this is beautiful, this is great because the devils love that. Hmm. Nobody ever says, what's this creature looking, a horrible thing, what, what are you looking at this horrible thing like that? But as soon as you put holy man and, and, and holy verses, you get the, all the unholy creation coming after you, <laughs> what is this, what is that? That's a proof that it's working, inshaAllah. Uh, as salaamu alaykum Sayyidi Wa alaykum as salaam wa there, there are mystical Christians who explain the soul of Isa alayhi salam as you explain Nur Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Can you help me understand this relation? Yeah, anyone teaching the reality of the soul and the, and the reality of lights, then alhamdulillah they're inspired and they teach. But it has to be the all-encompassing. We said before there are, there are other cousins teaching Adama Kadnon, it's called the universal man. So the, they, they have their, their spiritual teachings and they, their foundation and fundamentals of that reality it stops. So if they didn't reach to the universal being because how could the universal being be the first prophet, the second prophet? The third prophet, the universal one is the capstone. You know when you build the pyramid it has no power until you put the top on. So the pyramid has what they call a capstone. If you take that stone off it absolutely has no work, all the energy, electricity it doesn't function at all. So the capstone of all realities that empowers and brings the energy of everything is the Muhammadan haqqaiq. If they take that understanding and try to attribute to the other Prophets of Allah it's not common. And that's why Prophet gave to us hadith and the hadith Shafat al-Qubra, the grand intercession, right? So Shafat al-Qubra describes that on the Yawm al mashar Every nation will run to their Prophet and ask, intercede for us. They'll run to Adam salam, say, intercede for us, say, how I can intercede? We ate from the tree, we fell to earth. We have something wrong in our contract, I can't represent everyone. Let us go to Sayyidina Nuh salam. And they take their nations in the levels of the heart and the levels of these five Ulul Azam, the great Prophets of Allah and they run to Sayyidina Nuh and say, you intercede that represent us to Allah So how I can represent you? I got fed up with my <laughs> nation and Allah flooded them and killed them. I'm, I'm not one who can ask that. Let us go to Sayyidina Ibrahim and all the way to Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam. And Sayyidina Isa said, how I can ask Allah when they took me as their Lord? I'm ashamed and shy to do that, let us go to the one whom will represent us all. And this is the hadith of Prophet And all nations will gather with all the Prophets of Allah coming to the door of Sayyidina Muhammad on Yawm al-Mashad asking Sayyidina Rasulul Kareem, you represent us before Allah And then Prophet begin the intercession for all of creation. That is in some common, the perfected and perfected universal being. So alhamdulillah. And everyone has an understanding and teaching of realities. But when you know the common shaykh, the common Prophet the one who in, encapsulates all holy books, has the love of all the Prophets, then is common and complete. If you get the book Levels of the Heart, then you would see how each of the Prophets have a lataif on the heart and the final key is the Muhammadan key. So imagine then somebody coming and teaching you only to the level of Sayyidina Isa 
But what happened to all the realities of Muhammadun Rasulullah If you're not teaching that in your curriculum, well then I can tell you your curriculum is way off. And that's, that's, the, that's the reality. But in the Muhammadan curriculum it teaches the reality of Sayyidina Isa, teaches the reality of Sayyidina Musa, teaches the reality of Sayyidina Ibrahim, peace and blessings be upon them all, of all the Prophets of Allah <coughs> inshaAllah. We get levels of the heart, two copies, one for you, one for somebody else from that other study group. Uh, as Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Wa Alaikum As Salaam wa Just a clarification on the writing, uh, does writing mean pen or pencil or a keyboard is also considered writing? Writing is by pen, alam bil qalam, not alam bil keyboard. <laughs> We used to go for London to see Mawlana Shaykh and, and they were coming from all over the world and I described many times. They would come back with cassettes for people to listen to and then everybody got the understanding that we could just listen to the cassette and then play our cassette to record that cassette. Like, what are you doing? No, you have to write it, you have to hear the shaykh, you have to write what he's been teaching. Alam bil qalam. As soon as you write it burns into your heart, this is Allah's secret. But when people innovate that's the danger, they say, oh no I played on the recorder but then your recorder became blessed, not you. <laughs> so you have to provide an action for the angel to write, it makes sense right? If you don't have an action what is the angel writing? The writing in the book that He's playing his recorder on the Muhammadan haqqaiqs. <laughs> no, they're not going to write that. So nothing is being transcribed. So if you move something it'll be transcribed, there has to be an action. The actions are transcribed by the angels. He did this bad, he did this good, he, did, he said this, he did this. So then the great, greatest action that Allah is giving and it was so powerful that it was the opening of the revelation. Why Surah Al Iqra came, the first five verses, six with Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem, why Allah didn't reveal Qadr at the first? So, night of power is the opening of this power of the heart in which boom the floodgates of all and infinite realities that was last night's talk. So, that that Alam bil qalam is immense. So, it doesn't mean phone, doesn't mean record, doesn't mean type. Now later when we wrote things, we had books and books of all these writings, later we typed them and that's why you have Muhammadan way. So, Muhammadan way was our typing of all of these notes and putting all these sections and all these teachings and all these realities. And then from our own teachings then we expanded and put that upon the internet. But uh, that was you know to go out and begin to teach to people. So the greatest way of learning is then first teaching ourselves. But the alam bil qalam is a completely different reality that Allah burn into the reality of the soul and onto the kitab, the servant whom writes these realities, inshaAllah. <coughs> Uh, as Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Wa Alaikum As Salaam Wa Rahmatullah Sayyidi what is the third eye in Islam? The third eye, you have to get the meditation book. Allah, the timeless reality, this is about meditation and tafakkur and contemplation and, and contemplating. <clears throat> and Ahlul Basira then is a vision from the soul. So they're going to meditate and lower their head, where here they say, keep your neck straight, no, lower your head so that you don't try to see from your eyes. And when you meditate through your soul, it's a vision that your soul sees the shaykh right in front of you. Don't focus on looking at his face clearly, it's not at that, that level, but that the shaykh is, is with me 
and I'm under his nazar and I'm asking for my heart to be connected and I train and train and train. Later as I begin to progress there's an energy and dress upon the faces and these are then the different attributes in the, in the timeless reality. There's a chapter under that with the face of Sultanul Awliya, Imam Shaykh Abdul Faiz al Dagestani. It gives the attributes of Allah so you have to read the book. And then it describes there's a qudra that will begin to open from here. The qadr is in the heart and the qadr al muqtadir is going to be a reflection of this ocean of qadr that reflects upon the face and that reflects from an opening of an energy right here on the forehead. So the qadr of the heart begin to push its reflection upon the face and this energy upon the forehead begin to open and emit an energy. That energy is an illuminous light that make them to be qamarun. For healing then they can direct that energy and begin to affect the energy of other people. But sight is from the soul and from the heart. Right Haji Khalid? Uh huh. There we go. You know that I'm watching you guys, right? The camera's right there, you guys have a big TV. <laughs> As Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa Rahmatullah. Uh, can you please teach us something more about the phoenix and Jabal Kaf? The phoenix and what? Jabal Kaf. <laughs> they gotta <laughs> package the whole thing in one. <laughs> the phoenix is the logo, so Allah the guidance of Sayyidina Muhammad and his wings and support Ya Ali. So that is our whole path, all our teachings. That the immense love and support of Imam Ali salam and that uh, that is the support of all tariqahs, that is the custodian and the, the holder of the truth and the way of Qutuwa and this Naqshbandiyat al-Aliyah and the immensity of the love for Sayyidina Abu Bakr as-Siddiq and the perfection of character to be Qamarun and the teachings of Imam Ali in the way of futuwa and chivalry, good character, good manners and bringing that light, that energy, the nobility of character, the, the whole discipline of the path. Without discipline there is no path. If people just make up things themselves and, and, and innovate and do whatever they want, they lost the way of discipline. So then this way of discipline then brings their nazar, brings their support, brings their power and so alhamdulillah when we wear it on to our heart to be dear upon our heart and alhamdulillah these are for the flags of Sayyidina Mahdi to, to at that time to, to be under that reality and the phoenix is the fire, is an animal, a creature, a huma rahmah. They say Imam Ali is humaya rahmah. Is the phoenix of Allah's rahmah mercy which produce a fire from Allah's Divinely fire that destroy all cages and all difficulties. For this dunya is continuously trying to cage these birds of paradise and cage the believer and the humma escapes all cages by its intensity of fire and its, its majesty and izzat that Allah has dressed upon it. We pray that Allah dress us with it, bless us with it and give us that noble character, that love and that ish and to uphold that way of chivalry and good manners and good character. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzati amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha.